Hello guys. So um, today I'm going to be talking about um, math. Only math. Um, we're going to start out just with just each video is going to be one subject and hopefully it'll be short and sweet and you guys won't have to like judge on because my first video was 21 minutes but that's just kind of um, a broad span of stuff that I had to kind of introduce to you guys so that you kind of knew what I was going to be talking about in my other videos. So first I'm just going to show you kind of what um, what kind of material I use. Um, so number one, this is a game that we do sometimes, you know, after I teach them, you know, and recently we've been doing numbers 1 through 20. And so this only goes up to 20. However, it is a puzzle. And so you've got the, the word here, and then in the middle you have how many, which they can start out there, that's where my girls start, and then they find the number. And so it kind of all attaches. And that's just something that they can do on the side. That's, Or, you know, if, if we're doing a review day, I use um, Fridays probably to do a review day, Fridays, depending on the week. But usually it's Fridays to do a review day, so I let them choose anything they want within the math um, curriculum. And they just review what they've learned that week, and that's a good review tool. So, and I don't think it's going to last very long because they're pretty much good with 1 through 20. We're going to have to move up a little bit. But this is what I use for reviewing numbers. So, um, so you've got the, the ring here. Um, that I put on. I put this on every single set of flashcards that I have that they're studying because it's really easy to hang on the wall, really easy to carry if you need to, but I have, so I just basically hole punched and put a ring on it and they can go through their numbers. It does have numbers on the back, so it goes all the way up to 100. So we're working on 1 through 20 right now. Um, we'll say have town pretty well. And the main curriculum, as far as written work, I use this. It's K-12 math. Now, there's a lot in here that I don't use, but we actually, you know, like I said in the introductory video, which if you don't, if you haven't got an introductory video, go ahead and go to it and watch that first before you start watching all my curriculum stuff, because that'll explain a little bit more behind everything that I use and my schedule and how I use the the curriculum so k-12 um math is what i use and and there's a lot of sections that i kind of skip through but just to show you an example of what's in here um, that they've been doing recently they're further at the be, kind of beginning middle of the book sorry about the sign um but this is what they use so Right now, we're fixing to do this actually um, tomorrow, and we're going to do the fewer, more equal um, sort of thing. They've, they've learned how to write their numbers 1 through 20, and they're just doing all of that. So I'm just, I'll mark the page, and I'll go copy the page that we're on that day, and give it to them, and they do one worksheet per day, depending on the amount of time it takes, but it's front and back, so usually it takes... 10, 15 minutes for them to complete and go over and do it themselves. Um, so I have that. And then I have pre-K, which it is actually kindergarten kind of thing, uh, math word problems. And so we can practice, you know, our, our math problems. For example, help um, him find the cheese with the correct number. And it says which one has fewer then five holes and so you have to look and see which one so that kind of thing uh, it helps her out and introduces her to word problems um, that kind of thing and then this is a really good um, material to use and this has more than math in it it has the alphabet the handwriting and the phonics as well and it has stickers so you know you can use the stickers as a reward um, but it's a it's a kindergarten workbook and and thirteen tasty bones and you write the number over here and you know you count and then you go down and you say circle thirteen bones in each picture each of these pictures and then 
it just reviews each number. If you want to concentrate on one number that they're struggling with, it's a good thing to have. So, um, one final thing that we use, um, and honestly with math, you can do anything. I use manipulatives such as paper clips, objects that they really like playing with, little action figures that they have a lot of those, cars, um, and have them just lay them out and count them. Um, if you're practicing on counting the number 30, have 30, or, you know, have them do dots on paper. It's just, it's so, there's so much stuff that you can do with, um, with them with math. Because right now it's such a, you know, they're learning so much and they, it's so broad in this, in this age that you just want to kind of start simple. And that's really, really simple. It doesn't require a lot of money out of you. You know, you don't have to buy any expensive material in order for them to learn. Now, this is, I'll show you, let's see. Oh, goodness. Okay, so we use, we use something called Osmo. And it's Osmo with numbers, tangram, and words. And so we use, for math, we use the tangram, which is basically, I'll be doing a review on this later, but I'm just showing you kind of what we use today. So basically this is tangram. You have shapes in here that you can store, and it's actually magnetic, so it just sticks. It's very easy. All of them um, stick together magnetically, so it's really easy storage. I mean, these are all stuck together. You have a stand that comes with it for your iPad. And this actually pops off and goes on the camera. So there's actually a mirror in there so that whenever you play um, the game, it can actually see down in front of it. And you have little manipulatives. So this one is our numbers one. And you open it up and you've got a choice of, these are kind of the counting level where they can just count the dots and then they move up or if they move up the level they just use the numbers so that they can kind of do it in their head but that allows them to do that and then we you know the tangram they build basically they build animals out of these shapes and it's really neat and you the ipad that it requires um it, it actually will work with the old ipads too you have the ipad pro um, and like I said in my introductory video, the iPad is phenomenal as far as, um, you know, what you can bring up on it using YouTube, using um, Google, using all of your different resources. I also have apps, educational apps on my iPad. As far as math, I use, and this is the last thing, so I use... In addition to, uh, you know, Google and YouTube, I use for math, we use something called bedtime math, and that's what the icon looks like there, and basically what it is, is it's little um, snippets that you read to your child before they go to bed um, that are like math uh, related or math problems that they have to figure out, and it's just really, really simple. You select the age um, of the child to adapt to that level and then you just um, go for it. I mean my kids love being read to before bedtime and they say according to research that doing math before you go to bed is actually really good for the developing brain so I mean we do it sometimes it's not something that that we have to do right before bed they can do it you know during the day while we're homeschooling or whatnot. So that's just a good recommendation. Another recommendation that I would recommend for math um, is going to be, I don't know if you can see, but ABC Mouse, which I'll go on and just kind of show you. So basically what this is, is it's got all kinds of subjects on it, including math, but it's a good independent play sort of tool if you want them to um, play independently. And so, you know, they have, so you can go on here and they've got, I mean, if you go to the classroom, um, if you go to the classroom, I'll just show you the classroom. So you have a classroom and you have all kinds of stuff that you can do. And so 
right here, you can click on that computer. And there you go. There's a lot of math stuff that they can do there. And it, it, it's, it's age level basis as well. So you're able to adjust the age level um, of the child and it can adjust. It has all kinds of stuff on other subjects. It basically covers all of your subjects. So if we have a day where we need to um, be somewhere else, then it's good to be able to, for them to take it with them and be able to kind of practice and us not have to tote everything with us. So it's a good kind of mobile tool. Also a good independent play tool if you just need them, need a minute to, you know, for example, I copy my worksheets the day of. I don't do any sort of prep as far as um, what they're going to be learning that day. I just mark my page. I know where I'm going to be copying from and that's it. So, you know, if I need a minute, if I need a minute or two to go copy, I'll turn that on and let them kind of play together um, or turn on YouTube and let them watch a video relating to numbers or whatever other subjects that we're doing that day. And then I, you know, kind of get caught up on that. But um, it's, it's, a, it's a good balance. I like the, the iPad and the fact that it just gives you so much um, information just at your fingertips. And it, you know, they know how to use the iPad better than I do. But thanks for watching. That's it for all of my um, materials. The Osmo I will be doing a separate video on just to kind of show you guys the different, like how it works in the different games so that you can kind of get a feel for that because that's just kind of a different thing in and of itself. So, but thanks for watching guys. Mm -hmm.